hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a full face for $40 so here's the disclaimer I don't want to lie to you guys even though I kind of already did with the title two things I did to mess up this tutorial one I did use a foundation powder to set my face because I didn't get one from wet n wild I actually was going to but my shade was out of stock at the time of purchasing everything so I didn't have one and I didn't think to order one before I filmed this video so I'm sorry about that the second thing that I did was that I applied the lashes that I got from Wet n Wild and I just didn't like them so I took them off and I just used mascara instead so the mascara is a little bit more than the lashes they kind of knocked it up from $40 but the main thing that I want you guys to take from this video is that this stuff other than those two are inexpensive to where if you like how I used it in this video then you can go and get it I hope you find something or see something in this video that you end up liking so if you would like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so before we start I want to say that this video is not sponsored it's just that I went online to get this foundation for my review and I just picked up a lot of wet n wild stuff because I don't have a lot of wet n wild and I wanted to try it all in one video so I went ahead and the primed off camera I'm going to start with the foundation and if you want to see the review on this foundation I will leave it right here so you can check that out after this video make sure you watch this video first though <laughs> It has a spatula applicator. I'm gonna put maybe three spatulas. Okay, maybe four. All right, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and cover my lips just because it makes my entire base look really nice. Now this foundation, I do have a bit of an issue with the foundation matching, so I am gonna bring it a little bit onto my neck. Just a little. All right, so for concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, which is in the same line as the foundation that came out together. So I'm going to use the concealer in all of my highlighted areas. One thing about this concealer is that a lot of product doesn't come on the applicator, so you have to go back into the thing a few times. Now I'm going to move into products that I've never used. So the first thing would be this Mega Glow Contouring Palette. It has both a highlighting side and a contouring side. Now this is a powder product, not a cream. I'm going to take on my Beauty Blender the highlight side. That's really bright. And I'm going to set my concealer with this. I'm looking at myself because I'm hesitating <laughs> before I do this, but let's go. So you guys, I'm kind of taking everything in me to not set my face with a powder that matches me because my foundation just won't look right to me if I just leave it like this, especially with me being oily. So this isn't a step that you have to take and they actually have a pressed powder foundation in this exact same photo finish line. So try out that powder if you want something that's more inexpensive because the powder that I'm using is from Makeup Forever, it's the Pro finish powder in the shade 173 and I do think that the highlighting powder actually is a bit light for my skin tone so I'm going on top of that with my face powder all right now I feel much better <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and contour with this powder and I'm using a vanity planet angled contour brush came in the brush set all right so far it looks nice now I'm going to do my brows and I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. Gotta take the plastic off. So I have this in the shade Brunettes Do It Better. And it's an actual pencil. It's not like retractable or anything. It's a pencil and it has a spoolie at the end. So I'm gonna fill in my brows and then give you my opinion. So to clean up my brows, I'm going to use the same concealer that I use to highlight. So I don't really like the eyebrow pencil. I mean, I just kind of think that it's too creamy for an eyebrow pencil and it gives off way too much product. 
so that's something that you can easily just switch out if you wanted to get the other stuff that I've used from Wet n Wild but I wouldn't recommend getting the eyebrow pencil that's just my thoughts on that so now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow and I'm going to take this highlight powder just to set my eyelids because I did bring some of the foundation onto my eyelids when I was blending foundation in so I just want to set it so the shadows can blend easier I went ahead and got this eyeshadow palette and it is the all natural from wet n wild and I'm going to start with this shade right here and I'm going to use that as my transition and to apply it I'm using a NYX number 17 blending brush it's way darker than I thought but it is a cool tone color the next shadow I'm going to use is this one I'm going to use it to deepen up the outer corners of my eye And then I'm going to go into this shade right here. And this one I'm going to focus really close to the lash line. And this is black, so make sure that you tap off the excess product before applying it to your eyes. Because if you do your foundation first, you don't want to have a whole lot of fallout to have to dust away and fix at the end. And then for the lid shade, because I didn't want to use the ones in the palette, I went ahead and picked up this palette from Wet n Wild. And it is called I'm Getting Sunburned. I'm going to start actually with this pink shade right here because I want to do something different on my lid versus like just going in with this shade. I'm gonna go in with this one next but first I'm gonna start with the pink one so with the pink shade I'm going to apply this on the center of my lid and I'm gonna kind of blend it into the black and the darker shade that we have in the outer corner and I'm gonna take my finger just to help blend it a little more I'm gonna make sure that I apply the lid shade right above my crease so I'm gonna look directly in the mirror and just make sure that I bring that shimmer shade all the way up just so you can see my eyeshadow even when I'm looking straight at you. Then on the inner corner, I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm going to apply it right in the inner corner and blend it into the pink. Back into the pink with the other side of the brush. And then just make sure the two kind of mesh together with the shades that we used in our outer V. Just to deepen it up because I kind of blended it away when I was applying the lid shade. So now I'm going to apply some lashes. And they're from Wet n Wild. I think the style is 3974A or it's the style Max Bandwidth. I don't know, so I'm going to leave it down in the description box. I'm just going to apply mascara and I'm applying the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the shade Black and Brown. I'm going to line them with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Chestnut Lip Liner. And then I'm going to fill in the center with the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. And then the very last thing, I actually forgot about this. My highlight, I'm going to use the Mega Glow Powder Highlight. And this one is in shade Precious Petals. Now this is one of those products that like broke the internet. And I'm just now trying it out. So here we go. I'm going to apply a little bit to the inner corners of my eye and on my brow bone. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys aren't too upset that I used two products outside of Wet n Wild. But let me know if you've tried anything that I used in this video down in the comments. And also let me know if you decide to get something based on this video. The last thing, my opinion on this eyeshadow palette is that the eyeshadows are pigmented and they blend really nicely. I forgot to say that. And that's very important <laughs> about this palette palette because it is inexpensive and I think it has a lot of shades to work with so if you're on a budget I would say yes to this and also yes to this so if you wanted to get both of these I would say yes I think I just said that like five times. Yes to this, yes to that. But you get the point. Both of these is a yes from me. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.